with regards to time management, number one is you need to first understand where your time is being spent right now. So it is a little bit of a tedious task, but it's a very valuable task, meaning that for the next couple of days, you really need to jot down what you did every hour. And what I mean jot down, you know, it's not like half-assed, like you really need to know where your time was designated. And so a lot of the LOs that I work with, they did it and they found out that they designate a lot of time towards maintenance or admin tasks, meaning ordering title, you know, like putting out fires mm -hmm. right, or restructuring deals. And so that's right. where a lot of time comes in. And, and that's why it becomes hard where you feel like you are not doing anything. And it's because you're not. It's because there is no time put forth to bringing in new business. Mm -hmm. Get it? However many days you work in a day, you need to dedicate close to 40 to 50% of that towards new business generation. Because it's easier to hang your hat knowing that you added two deals in the day as opposed to, you know, clocking out and knowing you didn't do shit in the day. Because yeah. that's what's killing you, right? Right. That's what happens when you go home or you unplug and you're mush, like your brain is melted. Right, mm. like you're there, but you're not really there. You're just wasn't even worth it. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking, yeah. right, <laughs> and you know you're there because like you <clears throat> go to sleep and wake up thinking about work, and it's fun as long as it's positive. But how to get away from that is you just need to have confidence. And so I guess my solution to you is for the next three days, and you got to start Monday, is really tracking everything that you did, and it's going to take some discipline. So it's going to mm -hmm. take some time, right? So what did I do from? And I would do it in three-hour sections. So okay. like nine to 12, right? One to four, four to seven. And what you do is you open up that reminder and you put it on your calendar. So you open it up and say, hey, from nine to 12, this is what I did, right? Like I had three cigarettes, <laughs> you know what I mean? I went to lunch, right? I yeah. had coffee, literally everything. And you're gonna know where your time goes. And moving forward after that, when you take on tasks, you need to be protective with your time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because what you're going to find is when you document what you're doing, you're spending a lot of time with people that don't deserve your time. In other words, you're giving Mr. Patel a call to run the ninth scenario with no cost, right? He has no loyalty to you. Or you're chasing people that says, hey, I got a LE from Quicken or Oni, right? So you're mm -hmm. spending an hour of your time like, man, I got to beat this deal. As opposed to putting it in other things of how can I build a stronger relationship with the people, you know, that I got out, out in the street looking for a home. But you have to have a way to keep in touch with them so that you're in front of them all the time. And also understand that in purchase, you have a lot of things moving and being new, you feel like you got to do all of them. But keep in mind that this business has been here way before you, right? And they're more vested in turning that deal than you. So there are departments that do a lot of the sh that you do. So you're spending an hour or two, but there are departments Wasting that do my time. for you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You see what I mean? There's a lot of tasks that you do right now. You just got to identify it. And the only way to identify is you got to understand what the fuck you're doing every day right now. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing that actually pushes most LOs out of the industry is they never take the time to understand, you know, what the problem is.